Hello friends, this is Jim with J. Shane Smoking Pipes and joining me in the shop today is my nephew Ryan. How you guys doing? And I uh, just wanted to do a, a quick video. I received a box in the mail. Uh, I did a little trade with a friend of mine, Bjorn Rippen, in uh, Germany. And uh, this is what he sent me. So uh, let's jump right in. Well, first of all, a little housekeeping. Sorry about that. Smoking one of my shop pipes here. Nice little Danish egg. And in it, I am smoking some Big and Burly compliments of Mark. Bama Guitar Dude. Thank you, Mark. I'm digging it, man. Started smoking this about a week, week ago, and I'm down at least uh, half a ten. I'm just plowing right through this stuff. I'm delicious. Really enjoy it. Okay. Let's open the box up. See what we got here. I'm going to use my handy dandy Klein shop knife here. This is taped pretty darn good. Bjorn and I started talking about doing a trade a couple weeks before Christmas. And I had some tins that he was interested in. And I know Bjorn likes to collect tins, um, especially ones that aren't from Europe that, that don't have the warning labels on them. So I went ahead and uh, got some tins out of the cellar and sent them to him. And he, he uh, said he would get some uh, brown flake, germ, or uh, yeah, germane brown flake for me. And I didn't know it was going to be so difficult for him, and I don't think he knew how difficult it was going to be because he had to check a bunch of different shops, and he lucked out and found some at a small shop there in Germany. So, let's see here what we got. There it is. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Got three of those tins. Thank you so much, Bjorn. Fantastic. <clears throat> that is one of my all-time favorites right there. I, I just can't thank you enough, Bjorn. And I see you sent me a little something else here. We got some Planta Empire Latakia. Never had that before. I'm going to look forward to cracking that open. Gonna make sure I get some before my dad gets a hold of it because he will smoke it all, let me tell you. He loves his English blends. Thank you very much. And then also, we have another blend here. Description is in German, and I don't read German, sorry about that. All right, let's take a, take a smell here. Oh boy, that smells good. Nice and rich. What do you think? Oh yeah, that smells really good. Very nice. Very kind. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Bjorn. I can't thank you enough, buddy. That Germain Brown Flake is fantastic. Thank you. And everything else. I really appreciate this. It will go to good use. Trust me. <clears throat> also have a little bro note here. Okay, the uh, stuff, the tobacco in the bag is herps, herps, which means autumn in English. And uh, it's an English blend from the famous uh, tobacco blender Mozek in the city, city of Kyle. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Bjorn. I really appreciate that, buddy. Just can't thank you enough. That's fantastic. And thank you for going to so much trouble to get all that. Wow, it's a little chilly here in the shop here in Northern California on this Wednesday afternoon. It's uh, rainy. We got winds up to 45 miles per hour. And 
it's just starting to get here. It's been raining all day, but they said the middle of the storm's just starting to get here, and it's going to really get crazy here in a couple of hours. So it's going to get pretty, pretty nasty. So glad we're inside the shop, staying dry. Yeah, definitely. A little shop update. I've been working on a couple of squat bulldogs for a couple of friends. I wanted to make sure I keep you guys updated. Here's the first one. Both will be blasted. This one here is modeled off a of Dunhill, a new Dunhill model. And proportion, shape, size is, is dead nuts on for that. I've got it all rough shaped out and I'm going to start sanding on that. The button's a little bit large because the, the uh, person I'm making the pipe for likes a large button on it. So I made sure I made a large button on it. So we're going to go ahead and have a nice Cumberland stem. I've got a faux bone inlay on that one. It's a uh, acrylic bone for an inlay. And we'll go ahead and get that blasted up, stained up nice and light, light tan. Should look really nice. The second one is my take on the same pipe. It's a little bit different size, a little bit different proportions. This one here is a little bit smaller and it's a little bit chubbier and thicker. Got a little bit different shape to it. So this one also has the same faux bone, in, faux bone inlay and has the uh, Cumberland stem on it. So this one here will get blasted also and it's going to be a dark brown so it should look real nice too after that i've got a, a smaller kind of half rhodesian cutty type pipe it's a canted forward bowl this one here's going to get shaped out i'm going to take the shank down a little bit more make it a little little sexier make it a little smaller and uh, get that finished off i got a temporary stem in it right now just so i can hang on to it but that's the uh, third pipe in the lineup, and then I've got uh, four more commissions after that, so I'm looking pretty busy here for the next few weeks. I do have room probably for one or two more commissions. Um, I'm going to go and take commissions and work on them until the end of February, and then March and April I'll start working on pipes for the Chicago Pipe Show. So, other than that, we're just going to try and hunker down, stay dry, stay warm, and uh, enjoyable. So. Have a good one, everyone, and uh, stay smoky. Bye-bye.